Till death do us part. Unless. Welcome back to the Masquerade of Minnery, guys. It's been fucking forever that I made a video with my usual set. I have a topic for you, which is none other than weddings. Let's face it, weddings, as lovely the ceremonies can be, is a fucking pain in the ass for everybody involved in it. The couple who's getting married, the relatives, the friends, everyone included in the organization of the wedding. It's nothing but trouble. My brother's wedding took place four years ago and it gave me all the more inspiration for making this video. Back in the day, weddings were supposed to be meaningful events and a ceremony that celebrated the love between two people and their union. And till this day, it's still supposed to mean this. But that's not exactly what we see, right? And even back in the day, you could notice the difference between the wedding of a royal couple, an upper class couple, and a lower class couple, right? This fucking humanity has always been materialistic and we were designed to always fucking show off in front of each other. And weddings are no exception. Even funerals, but that's a whole other topic in itself. And I'm gonna also make a video about it at some point. But you know, weddings clearly show what they are really about. The amount of fucking money that people spend on everything from the wedding dresses, wedding suits, to the food, to the fucking decoration, to the fucking people involved. It really feels like it's not truly about the couple. Because all you think about is, oh, how many guests shall we invite? Where should we have them seated? How shall we organize the whole event? What kind of music we should play? And we should choose, you know, a set list that everyone likes or at least uh, most people can accept and I mean if the wedding is about me and my partner Why should I fucking give a shit about what the guests like? I mean as for the music at least because for the food Okay, everyone's gonna eat and we should choose something that most people can enjoy but still It's your big day, right? It's supposed to be your big fucking day where you are the center of attention, where people celebrate you and your partner, obviously, I mean that you as a couple. Why do people always give so much shit about what the others will say? Like, oh, is it really appropriate to place these type of flowers or is it appropriate to wear this fucking dress and, and those fucking accessories and whatnot? So it's nothing but fucking stress. And yet again, it's all about showing off to people, look, look at these decorations, these flowers, these arrangements, look at this fucking food, how delicious and luxurious it is. And look at the bride's dress and the suit of the groom and look at all this beautiful scenery, look at the building it takes place at, and all this fucking shit. It's nothing but yet another way to show others how wealthy you are. And if you're not that wealthy, well, shame on you. You need to be like this on your own wedding, shrinking to half of your fucking size and almost apologizing that you didn't have millions and millions to fucking spend on one day that's all about just people eating all they can and fucking getting drunk that's all it is because people will make any fucking excuse 
to get wasted and probably find someone to fuck because weddings are also a good opportunity for that. You know, just for one fucking day, spending all that money. For what? Like you borrow these fucking dresses and suits and all, all that bullshit or you maybe you even buy them to wear it for one fucking day in your entire life. Because even if you remarry, you would think that, oh, but it would be so strange to get married again in the same dress and in the same suit with the same decorations and maybe in the same fucking location. And there you go, spend fucking money all over again. I really dislike weddings, honestly. Even if I ever had one, which I highly doubt, but if I ever had one, I always wanted it to be a quiet, peaceful, private ceremony with my closest family members, and that's fucking it. I don't need to prove and show off my love to anybody else, and the amount of money you spend won't reflect how strong your love is. It's all just for just for the outside, just for the people to look at. Oh, look all the money I had for this bullshit and that bullcrap. Look at all the money I had for this type of food, maybe a fucking chocolate fountain. Look at these exquisite drinks and this fucking quality food. What's the fucking point of it? Because, yeah, the ceremony, maybe it lasts half an hour or not much longer. Yes, you... You, the blushing bride, you cry and maybe even your groom will shed a few tears. It's all such a touching moment for everyone. And then what happens? You go fucking eat, fucking dance, fucking drink. That's all it is. And it goes in circles from that point on. Most weddings have this really cringy fucking tradition of calling a guy or maybe you choose from your acquaintances. I don't know if that's the best man or there's another word for it, but this motherfucker who goes around telling the cringiest fucking jokes and stories that basically no one wants to laugh at. It's all full cringe. And (laughs) a lot of people even pay for these fucking guys to be cringe at their own fucking weddings. It's just beyond me. All these fucking luxurious bullcrap, this show-off, that's it, a big fucking show-off. I, I don't even find a better word for it right now, what weddings actually are. But it's yet another way, as I said, to show the world how much money you spend on things and how wealthy you are and how many friends and relatives you have. Honestly, can you really enjoy this day that's supposed to be special for you and your husband or wife? Can it really be special when you have to follow a certain fucking schedule and you have to make sure that everyone enjoys that time? You have to be here, you have to be there, you have to exchange some words with everyone, you need to make sure that every, everything goes according to plan, you even have to do fucking rehearsals. You know, I could observe these things at my brother's wedding and how the preparations were, and I'm like, no fucking way. Also, the fucking wedding cake. Oh, it has to be, I don't know how much, how fucking tall, and with special little decorations. Oh, it cannot just be any fucking cake. Doesn't matter if it just disappears in everyone's stomach like any other food. No, it has to be a very fucking special cake. Probably cost a fucking fortune. Everything has to cost loads of money that will waste your fucking savings, most probably your parents' savings too, because usually it's also the parents uh, putting most of the money in your wedding, right? To me, it would be honestly a nightmare. Not the most special and most beautiful day of my love and I and celebrating our bond and finally tying that fucking knot because all i see is you know constantly the brides and grooms are always fucking stressed out always exhausted and you can see on their faces that they just want that fucking day to be over just to get some nice sleep and okay from now on we are husband and wife and life goes on because that's what happens 
you have this one day when everyone parties and drinks and eats and that's it like any other fucking party difference is that you probably <laughs> wasted most of your money on it and maybe you are broke at this point but oh at least you could show everyone what a lovely wedding you had look how much effort you put into it and then everyone will forget it maybe you will look at the pictures oh yeah so i remember yeah i remember how i barely could fucking stand in my high heel shoes and how hard it was to take a fucking piss in this big ass dress but oh it was all worth it and i remember how fucking tired i was and maybe i even blacked out because i got fucking drunk like everyone else yeah it's so worth it so worth the money so worth the effort and everything it's just a fucking bullshit circus like most parties and ceremonies the amount of money you put into your wedding won't necessarily reflect how much you love your partner right <laughs> Because some people can have the most luxurious and fleshy fucking weddings. And then maybe a pair of months or years later, oh, look, they are divorcing already. So it was really, really worth it, right? Really worth that money, the effort, the time, the energy, and getting everyone involved, right? Because let's face it, I think most people don't like attending weddings. Or if they do, it's only for the same thing as always, eating, drinking, that's it. And probably getting laid. That's what it is about. Same for, you know, fucking team buildings and other bullshit parties. It's always about that, guys. And let me not even get into the engagement ring, how much it fucking costs, just a piece of fucking metal and stone on your finger, what bullshit it is. And I see plenty of videos about materialistic sluts who say that, oh, he has to spend at least this amount of money on my fucking engagement ring, otherwise I'm not gonna marry him. I mean, oh, look at the true love in your heart for that man, right? You spend all this money on a fucking piece of object. As if the value of that fucking ring would really show how much you love or you don't love your partner. Yeah, surely if you just buy a simple cheapest ring for each other, then your love won't last forever, it won't be a happily ever after. Only, only if you spend fucking loads of money on it. Surely that's the only way you can prove your love to each other. To have a big ass party, a huge wedding, pompous and all that shit. And to spend all your fucking savings on a goddamn fucking ring. That you're probably gonna lose, it can happen. Or maybe you divorce and then oh, in the trash it goes or you pass it, I don't know where. So to me weddings are just unnecessary show-offs, that's what they are. Because if you truly love someone, if you really want to celebrate the love you share with your partner, there's no need for hundreds of fucking guests to witness it and the moment that you make it official. You don't need thousands of fucking flower decorations and, and all that fleshy bullshit. You don't need any of that crap. You don't need to rent out a goddamn palace or a goddamn mansion. You don't need any of that shit. Because it's supposed to be between you and your partner. And the others are just simply there to celebrate with you, to celebrate your love. But as we can see, that's not really what it is about nowadays, is it? And probably never has been, or maybe in the very beginning. And you know, if you want to make it uh, religious, then of course you go to a church and ask for a fucking priest to do the ceremony for you and everything because oh god needs to witness this right this beautiful union of men and women of husband and wife and yes if god is everywhere he could see that fucking union anywhere right it doesn't need to be in a biggest church or a cathedral and whatnot right or is God picky about the location? Will he only acknowledge your love 
and your union if it takes place at his house, as they say. <laughs> fucking bullshit. All, all of it bullshit. I don't need any fucking person to make my partnership or my marriage valid, right? I don't need anyone. I can just go out in a fucking field or at the beach or at any simple goddamn place of my choosing. I can even make a ring out of a fucking piece of grass and wrap it around my finger and my love's finger and that's it. We made a little ceremony, we made a promise, because that's why it should be a fucking promise. And that promise doesn't need to cost fucking millions, right? And you know these bullshit requirements and traditions that, oh, the, the bride has to wear, you know, there's this bullshit that has to wear something that is was already used, something new, something old, and not all this other bullshit. I don't know the details, but you know, the, all these, these requirements. Who the fuck makes up these bullshit requirements? And for what? And why should you follow them? Will you be cursed if you don't follow these goddamn traditions? Would your wedding or your marriage be any less meaningful if you don't do these things like everybody else? So to me, it's just, it's more like a pain in the ass and, and I'm sure that most couples cannot really enjoy that special day that is supposed to be about them. It's more like they are for the guests and they have to make sure that, oh, everyone has a good time, everyone has their needs met and all this shit. But I mean, it's supposed to be about you two and the guests should be the one making sure that the bride and the groom have a good time. Because it's supposed to be about them, it's their big day. Not to mention that how many marriages end in divorce, end in misery, end in arguments. You spend all that money, put all the effort, everyone just wants it to be over and everything. And all this for nothing, basically, if the couple divorces. It was all for nothing. So basically, your money, your effort, your time, your energy, all of it was fucking wasted. And if you remarry, you have to do that shit all over again. What's the fucking point of this, honestly? People love dreaming about that big day, imagining how it should be, how everything should look like, what type of dress or suit they want to wear, what song should play. And if you don't have enough money, you can say goodbye to those dreams and then these people are ashamed and, and sad and disappointed. But I mean, your fucking financial status shouldn't determine how happy you're gonna be or how beautiful that ceremony is going to be. Because you can have the biggest ceremony ever organized and some things still can go wrong. Some shit can still hit the fan. But if you make a um, more modest ceremony, a quiet one, with only your closest family members, your closest friends, and no fleshy, luxurious bullshit, it can still be the most beautiful ceremony because it feels more intimate, it feels more like it's really truly about you and your closest loved ones. And actually, I think it comes with way less stress because you don't need to make so many arrangements, spend so much money, and you are more relieved. You don't need any fucking biggest party afterwards, nothing. Just the few of you sharing the moment, celebrating your love, and that's it. So as I said, if I ever had a wedding, it would be like that. A very small private fucking little ceremony we would be the ones deciding on the music because what's the point you are the couple and you want to have a good time and dance and all this shit but then you have to think oh maybe my taste doesn't match the taste of the guest who the fuck cares they can have their own wedding or probably had and maybe they also didn't give so much fuck about 
the taste of the guests and chose what songs they liked and that's how it should be because if that day is about you then also the music should fit mostly your taste your and your partner's taste but yeah it's always about other people we always worry about other people and what they will say who the fuck cares besides even if something goes wrong in any way people are gonna forget about it because everyone will go on about their fucking lives everyone is occupied and busy with their own fucking problems maybe a pair of times they recall those memories but most of the time they will just forget about it like my brother's wedding right it took place four years ago and does anyone ever talk about it anymore i don't really hear it we only mentioned oh fuck it's been already four years that you guys married maybe um really a pair of small memories coming up and few words exchanged about it and it's over that's it nothing special right it's just another fucking thing that happened it's in the past and everything goes on fucking life goes on and the bad news guys is that they are already trying for a fucking baby and they are even planning to have two kids so i'm gonna be blessed to be the aunt of two fucking kids i'm really really looking forward to it and even if they don't succeed in creating their own they gonna adopt so either way i'm fucked so guys i think that's where i should stop because i've been talking about this fucking topic for about half an hour maybe i left some stuff out but i made my point and i'm curious also what you guys think about weddings maybe you had your own you can tell in the comment section how it was if you enjoyed your special day if everything went according to plan or if anything got fucked up or if you divorced later or if you attended relatives or friends wedding how it went what's your opinion on these fucking ceremonies i would love to read your thoughts so thanks for watching as always and see you next time praise the reaper You know, my brother's wedding took place four years ago. Kusma az Isten faszát! Bagoly kurva Isten! Bagoly geti! Bagoly kurva geti! Kus legyen már faszom!